Okay, uh, let's uh, go over homework 2.3, number 5. Alright, so we just need to evaluate this limit. Right, so first thing you should try is plug in. So h goes to 0, plug in uh, 0 for h. So you can see that the denominator h is going to go to 0. Right, then if you plug in 0 here, so you're going to have, uh, so this guy goes to 0. So square root of 64, which is 8, minus 8. So the numerator, the whole numerator, actually goes to 0 as well. Right, so we're going to have to do something about that. So the trick was multiply top and bottom by square root of 64 plus h plus 8. I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom. So square root of 64 plus h plus 8. All right, so then this is going to become so you have a limit as uh, h approaches 0. We'll take care of the limit later. Then we're going to first uh, try to simplify. All right. So we can see that uh, we have uh, a minus b times a plus b. So we can write it as a squared minus b squared. So a is square root of a 64 plus h. If you square that, square root is gone. So you just get the 64 plus h minus b squared. So b is 8, so it's going to be just uh, 64. So you subtract 64. And on the bottom, there's uh, not much you can do, so you just write down h times quantity square root of 64 plus h plus 8. Right? Then we try to cancel as many terms as possible. There's 64 on top and the minus 64. Right, cancel that. All right, then you have h on top and uh, there's h on the bottom, so the common factor, cancel that, so you have 1 on top. All right, then we can just plug in. So in this case, you can see that the h is going to go to 0, which means that the h basically goes away, so therefore you get the 1 on top. And the, on the bottom, you basically have square root of 64, which is 8 plus another 8. So a plus 8 would be 16. All right. So the, the value of this limit is going to be just 1 over 16. All right. That's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.